Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about all the things that got me through 2020. I know it's been a really rough year for us all and these are just some things that got me through and made it a lot more enjoyable. So, let's get straight into the video. Number one, and this might seem really obvious, but watching things. Watching things is so good because it just eats up so much time and this year I got into so many programs I hadn't seen in a while or, you know, just really long series that you can just just sink your teeth into and there's many many seasons of. Examples of that are I re-watched The Office, I've been re-watching The X-Files and just loads of shows like that that have just many seasons. I have been watching a lot of YouTube as well, watching a lot of podcasts on YouTube which is really good because you can just listen to it or watch it which is really nice. You can just end up watching too many things and it just gets really boring. You know listening to something is really nice because it gives you a chance to do something else while you're listening to something so I'll like put on a podcast podcast and kind of half watch it but listen to it as well. Do my makeup or do my skincare or tidy my room or cook or whatever and it is just so enjoyable and so much nice and just makes me want to do things a lot more because it's me an excuse to listen to the podcast or whatever if that makes sense. So podcasts I've been loving this year are the HC podcast, that's my favourite podcast ever probably. I've been watching that for years and it's just so enjoyable, so funny and it just always gives me something to look forward to which I think this year has been really important to just have something to look forward to. Yeah, they do a couple of episodes a week so I have a couple of nights a week that I can look forward to watching that. Um, but there's a couple of podcasts on YouTube that I love watching like Sweet Boys and um, there's a couple on Spotify as well. I absolutely love watching things slash kind of listening to things. has been really helpful this year and I would highly recommend getting yourself some blue light blocking glasses as well if you've been looking at artificial lighting a lot more, looking at screens a lot more. I I've been really suffering from migraines a lot more this year because we have been stuck inside because I've been watching so much more stuff and these have definitely helped my eyes. Yeah, I would highly recommend getting some blue light blocking glasses. Yeah, I love these and these are really cute pink ones as well. Number two, reading. So I've always loved reading books, but I always used to read books quite slowly because the only time I really had to read was like before I went to bed, but I was always too tired then. I would just like read like half a chapter and then fall asleep with the book on my chest or whatever. This year I've had a lot more time and been stuck at home a lot more. Reading has been so therapeutic and so nice. Whenever I just have nothing to and I'm, I'm sick of watching things, I'll just open up a book and just read a chapter of it. And it's just been so nice and it's really enjoyable to just escape, to just have that escapism, you know, because we're stuck inside. There's nothing new or exciting sometimes about just being in your room or being in your home, but just escaping with a story is just so nice. So yeah, I have been thoroughly enjoying reading this year and it's definitely me into that hobby again and I've just really enjoyed just reading. It's so nice when you snuggle up with a blanket and have a cup of tea and it's just a very quiet moment just reading and it's really, really nice. Yeah, I'd highly recommend reading. Number three, writing. So because I've been reading a lot more, I've been a lot more inspired to write. There's like two types of writing I've been doing. I've been writing in my diary, which I don't write in as much as I would like, but I only write in it when I feel like it's necessary, when things have changed. Like I always read my last diary entry and think, oh, this needs updating. Oh, nah, things are about the same. And then there's obviously like writing stories. So I've been writing a lot of fictional stories. I love writing short stories when I feel inspired by something, whatever that might be. And and I just will sit and write. I love writing and that has been such an enjoyable thing for me to do this year. Number four, music. So if you know me, my all time favorite artists are Marina and Lana and this year it has been Grimes. For like, since like the summer, I've just been listening to Grimes every single day. Her music is just so different and I love it and I feel like that was what was missing from my music, her kind of sound and I absolutely adore her sound. I adore her music, her albums, just everything, just her style, just everything. I absolutely adore her music. So listening to her has been really getting me through this year but I cannot wait for Marina's new album and I cannot wait for Lana's new album but in the meantime, I'm just thoroughly enjoying Grimes and those are my three top artists and I'm 
so enjoying listening to them all but as well as just listening to those artists I've been just enjoying listening to new music and creating like themed playlists on Spotify just doing like a theme with songs and, and stuff and I really enjoy doing that so yeah I've really just enjoyed just enjoying Spotify and just those artists and yeah music number five learning about the law of attraction so I have wanted to properly learn and sink my teeth into about the law of attraction for years and I did kind of dabble into it on and off for the last few years. I know my sister's a big believer in the law of attraction and she believes some of the things she's gotten is because of that. I've always looked up to my sister and I've always seen her as doing so well in life and I thought maybe I should give it a go. So I've just been learning a lot about it, watching a lot of videos about it and just trying to incorporate it into my everyday and I feel like it's definitely made me a lot more positive. Just think about things more positively put out in the world you get back what you give out you attract you know and I feel like that's what I've seriously been trying to do for the last I'd say two three months just seriously learn about the law of attraction doing positive affirmations but mostly just being positive and not saying negative things about myself or anything just generally just being very positive about everything in life and always looking to the brighter side and then glass half full type of thing even though this year has been really rubbish good to still be positive and look at the positive things try and get that back and think about what you want and it's definitely made me realise what I want out of life and what's important. I have really been incorporating it into my life and just thinking about everything that I want and holding that image in my mind, just looking towards the future and believing that it's possible and just having that faith in yourself and your abilities and that can be so powerful and it's just been a very powerful lesson for me to learn this year. Number six, meditation. So for me, meditation has always been an incredible tool to help me like open up my mind, get really inspired, get really imaginative. It's also good with helping me with the law of attraction by visualising things and having that moment where I really focus on what I want and what I want the future to be like and just kind of like manifesting that and putting that in my head so I can think about it more often so if that makes sense. But yeah, meditation has been so good for me, really helpful this year and yeah, I've just enjoyed just having a moment to just breathe. It's just so powerful, meditation is so good. Yeah, if you don't already, I would highly recommend and meditate it's just such a powerful tool and powerful thing and it's just fantastic so yeah meditation number seven working out i have always been known for being like the laziest person ever basically i'm so lazy but when we got into quarantine at the start of the year i started working out every night no matter how late it got no matter how lazy i became i had to force myself every single day for 15 minutes to work out and i had like a workout routine i was doing it was just so good and it made me feel so good it made me drink more it made me like feel a little bit more alive it made my heart pump you know a bit faster and it just woke me up a little bit you know releases endorphins and makes you more positive makes you feel better makes you happier the more you work out the more you want to work out there's this big saying that the more you do the more you do so yeah, the more you work out, the more you want to work out. And when we got out of quarantine, I kind of stopped working out as much. That is going to be a huge goal for the new year for me. I'm going to try getting back into it and working out every day because I remember how good it was for me and I just need to get back into that. And I'm so excited to do that. Number eight, making videos. So I've been making videos on YouTube like on and off for a few years, but this is the most properly I have taken it. Whenever I've done it, I've done like less than a handful of videos each time. I did it so rare that I just thought about things too much and I would delete the video and think it wasn't good enough and whatever and I just thought about things too much. Yeah there's a couple of videos I've got up now that I'm not like super happy with. The fact that I've done it and put it out there and put that effort into it and thought of that idea and, and taken the time to get myself ready and film it and edit it and put it up is a powerful thing in itself. Like I said the more you do the more you do and you know because I, I've now been doing it every week since like I think August I can't break like doing it every week I feel like the the more I keep to that schedule the more I want to do it and the more it means and stuff but yeah making videos has been so good for me it's made me come up with ideas and, and light a candle and just it's given me things to do and it was really good in quarantine to just start filming and, and stuff it was really handy and really helpful and got me out of my head and just made me just do things and I think just getting on with things is so good and doing YouTube has been just so good for me to just get on with it and just do it and I absolutely love making videos I love editing I love filming I love coming up with ideas and I'm definitely excited for loads of video ideas I have for 2021 
and yeah I'm so excited for springtime to come and to do spring videos and for warmer weather and sunshine and stuff and to just be able to just film more and I really hope by summer we can go out more and I can film some vlogs somewhere else than at home but we shall see but yeah I have been really inspired by YouTube and I've been really enjoying filming a video every single week but I think also with making videos it's just been like photography as well and just getting my camera out and just being creative and just grabbing a camera and just making something so yeah number eight making videos. Number nine, spirituality. This year I learned a lot about Wicca and being a Wiccan and I learned a lot about my personal spirituality and what I feel connected to, cosmic witchcraft and a little bit of sea witchcraft as well but definitely cosmic witchcraft and making videos about it has helped me learn and helped me need to know as much as I can so I can put as much information as I can into those videos. Learning about my spirituality, learning about witchcraft, learning about Wicca has just been so inspiring and it's it's been so incredible to learn and to learn about myself and what I feel connected to and writing in my book of shadows has been a really good part of that process and I've been collecting crystals and that has been a really exciting thing for me to do and collecting witchy books to learn and read and explore my spirituality and it's just been a really inspiring powerful year for me spiritually so yeah spirituality. Number 10 decorating and tidying this year we go through the seasons I decorate my room per season and stuff and I think changing it up and just surrounding myself with things that are pretty make me feel nice and that's been so nice um but in terms of that I do love autumn and I do love winter and Halloween and Christmas but I always get so excited for the new year when I can take down all the Christmas decorations and just fill my room with flowers and get ready for spring and just breathe and feel so decluttered and have like a spring clean and I feel like that's so therapeutic for me and I always look forward to it every single year year it's just so enjoyable for me that time of year and um, especially when it starts getting sunnier and you can have your window open and let in fresh air and oh, I just love that time of year so yeah just decorating my room and not even just that tidying my room has been so therapeutic I'll put on some music connected to my speaker just listen to that and just do a deep clean in my room, turn on my essential oil diffuser, light a candle, spritz my room with a really beautiful spray, put my fairy lights on and just deep clean my room and doing things like that and listening to some music and just tidying it in my own time has been so therapeutic. Just having like a really clean, tidy space. Yeah, just keeping everything tidy and just surrounding myself with things that I'm passionate about and that I love has just been a really beautiful thing for me this year. So decorating, and tidying and whatnot at number 10. And then the last thing that I've got on my list, I've talked about self-care in words like the law of attraction, my spirituality and do meditation and whatnot. At number 11, I've got, you know, looking after myself externally. I have just really enjoyed the smaller things this year, just sitting at my vanity desk and just doing my skincare routine or doing a little bit of makeup or having like a really nice bubble bath, just, you know, brushing my hair, looking after my hair or just even putting it in plaits or just doing little self-care things have been so powerful for me this year and just shows you know that you care about yourself just little things like that are just so powerful and so yeah I've just been enjoying those little things like that this year and it's just been so important this year for getting into self-care externally so yeah yeah I am very excited for the new year I'm very excited to keep on with all of these things that I've mentioned so yeah I hope you liked this video please give it a like if you did comment down below things that have gotten you through this year and hopefully I'll see you in my next video bye